Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Live and Shift Dev. So today we're gonna learn how to build form component in React. And I have a React TypeScript sandbox right here, and I have a really simple form. Um, basically the form consists of the name and age text field, and it also have access permissions, multi select. So this is basically just for user to input the name, age, and if they have access to certain states in Australia and for the permissions, this can be selected uh, multiple options. So this is really simple form and this is a markup for it. Basically, I just use some input tags and using a select uh, tag with the multiple attributes enable. So this kind of enable multi-select and this form quite simple and I also have some on input change and on select change uh, event handler. So the on input change is gonna be for those text um, inputs for name and age. And for the on select change is gonna be for the permissions motor select. So I divide my form into render component and container component. This is my preference. You can group them all together, but I found this way things a little bit clearer. And so the event and all our input change and select change is not implemented yet. So this is where I want to talk to you about guys about how to handle state changes in the form component. It's a little bit different compared to other um, components in React. So how can we efficiently handle state form internal state in React? So the first thought to come into my mind is use uh, use state hook so basically we're going to create a use state hook for each um, input like name age and permissions so this kind of require three use states to handle three internal states um, that's not good as the input grows so let's say you have like five or eight more um, input tags and three or four more uh, select and that's going to be unmanageable with a lot of use state statements. So another thinking is come to mind for me is why don't we just use one single use state and the state is going to be an object. That's going to come with a cost as well because if you have a single object as a state and you when you do on event uh, state change for the name for example then you need to go to that object and update that view or or, or properties in that object. And as more thing grows, then it's gonna be somewhat more so so complicated, and you're gonna end up with a lot of variations of set states, um, just to update a single attribute in the state object, and it's gonna become messy for sure. So one of the best way for us to deal with form state is using use reducer okay so i make some modifications to add use reducer hook into this container component so the use reducer gonna take a reducer function and initial data so in this case i want to structure my form data to be grouped into two sections user and permissions as showing in the initial form data object and use reducer resemble a redux reducer so the reducer function gonna take a previous state and is gonna take also that action object so the action object normally consists of the action type and the payload but we're gonna come back to that later and when using use reducer it's gonna return a new state but here it just i just named it the form data the new form data and this also give us a dispatch function so the dispatch function gonna basically just trigger triggering another action and when the action is triggered uh, a new state is calculated and give it back to the code for us to update um, the changes to our internal state so let's go back to our reducer function so right now I have an action that is type any. Let 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 give it a type. So I define my actions as follow. The act that this consists of a type field, 
and is typed is action type and it's also go with the payload the payload comes with the few and value pair okay and action type there's only two action types one is user the other is permissions because our form data structure is going to just consist of two sections user and permissions right okay so now i just give a uh, proper proper type for the action so because we've got two types of actions we need to handle all these two types in our reducer so basically the responsibility of reducer is look for the action and corresponding to each action type we're going to compute the state object differently and at the end of the, redu of the reducer function it's going to give us a new form data or the new state of the form component so i just paste in our reducer definition so right here we just um, get the type and payload out of the actions and also get the few value pairs and for the action type user action type we gonna update the user sections with the with the new fuel and value pairs this is going to be overridden the old fuel and value pairs in the previous data object similarly for the permissions we do exactly the same so these fuel and value pairs is going to override the old fuel value pairs that we have in the previous data or previous state and now we have our reducer implementation done now we need just need to wire up with the action dispatch to the input change and select change event handler so i have the code written for the input change and select change handler here so for input change we basically we're going to dispatch a user action type and with the payload of the name and value pairs so the name here is corresponding to name of the input so this is and the name is the attribute on the input tag and the value the value basically just the tag so that we input in the input box right here so that's really easy and also one thing i want to mention that the name going to match um, all the field in the user object in the form data right here so that's going to make us easy to work with if the name is different then we need to do some kind of mapping so things gonna get a little bit more complicated if we don't have the name on the input tag same as the name on the form data structure and i do the same for the select change but we're gonna dispatch a different action so here i dispatch a permissions action type and same the field gonna be just get the target name so the name right here is basically the, the state if you look at the reducer permissions and in permissions we have the states right right here so it's the same as the name on a select tag and because this is multi select so we need to convert all the options value to an array all the selected options values to an array I just use the array form and then I got a call back for each element in the array I get the value out of it out of the selected options so now we all have our event handler done time to observe our form data okay so I just adding some code to observe our form data basically I get the form data here and pass to our render layer rend form render and then I just JSON screenify our form data out of it. So this is our initial form data. And if I start ch changing the name, yes, yeah, so you can see the name is updated in the form data and also the age as well. Really nice, right? If I click on access permissions mode to select, we're gonna see the changes. Pretty cool, right? And if, if I unselect the mode to select, it reacts correspondingly and this is a test that shows that our form is actually working so to recap we handle the input change and select change events using use reducer hook so in the re reducer in our use reducer reducer hook it take a reducer function and initial 
state. So our initial state is this, and that's and then the news reducer gonna return a new state. Here is just name form data and also a dispatch function. And the dispatch function is used to dis dispatch a certain action, and our action contains a type and also the payload and the payload comes with a few value pairs and in our reducer definition we check the action type and based on certain action type we update certain section of the form data here we have two sections user and permissions so for users we gonna update the user section and for permissions we can update the permissions section in the form data so compared to the set state we have a central function that handle all the state change now that this encapsulate the logic for the state change completely so it's easy to debug easy to trace and if you compare this to mo multiple set states uh, or multiple use states hooks it's gonna be a lot simpler and easier to understand and if you deal with but more complex form data structured use reducer are going to help you simpl simplify the logic a lot compared to use states and that's it guy hope you guys like the video and learn something about form in react again if you like the video subscribe to my channel and give it a like on this video thank you guys